for a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down, the medicine go down. Listen to them, children of the night. What music they make. Could the popularity of Mary Poppins or Dracula actually shed light on a social mood that also propels the stock market? According to Brechta, it does just that. All of the popular groundbreaking horror movies were produced in bear markets. Dracula, Frankenstein, King Kong, The Mummy, uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, all of those were produced from 1931 to 1933, two short years during which time the Dow Jones Industrial Average was plummeting. Uh, you didn't have a situation like that again for uh, decades until the late 1960s into the early 1980s. And then you had Halloween, Night of the Living Dead, and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and all of these, again, groundbreaking horror movies that were popular. Uh, and you don't see that sort of thing in bull markets. Uh, there's always a mix, of course. There are movies of all types produced all the time. The question is the frequency, the popularity, the intensity. Uh, when you see uh, horror movies from bull markets, you find out generally they're derivative or they're hokey or they're humorous, uh, but it's the ones produced in bear markets that shock people. While horror movies are a staple of falling markets, adventure, heroism, and family fare are more popular when stocks are rising. And what film company best captures the spirit of a perky, upbeat society? In a word, Disney. Who are you, uh, my dear? Oh, how silly of me. I'm Snow White. In 1937, at the top of a roaring bull market, Disney released his first major animated feature film, Snow White. It was a smash hit. He continued in that genre for the next 30 years with hit after hit as the stock market was rising and the social mood was rising. Then when the stock market topped out in the late 1960s, suddenly it was as if somebody had flipped a switch on the Disney machine and the studio did not produce a single major cartoon feature smash hit from the late 1960s all the way through most of the 1980s. And of course, most of that period was a bear market in stocks while they were going sideways to down. Ariel, listen to me. The human world, it's a mess. As the market recovered in the 1980s, suddenly the Disney machine began to come back to life. And once again, the families were pouring into the theaters to see Disney films. This is not a coincidence. This is the entertainment industry giving the public what it wants when it wants it. <laughs> 